welcome back to Lehigh River Subdivision. Today we're going to be doing layout update number 30. Um, we're going to continue on from last update and work on the track a little bit. I did some of the setting of the drywall mud to get it smoothed out. Basically using the drywall mud to smooth out my road bed so it's nice and gradual throughout so when it gets fastened down everything sits nicely. Um, so we're going to do that and then we're going to take a look at, I made a lot of progress in the river section. Uh, wasn't planned, just kind of happened. So we'll take a look at that. So the first thing I want to do before we jump into that, as I mentioned a while back, I don't know which video it was in, that Sam and I are expecting our second child. Uh, May 4th is the due date. In December we found out the gender of the baby. So what I want to do is have some fun with you folks. Uh, first, before we get into the layout update, we're going to do a mini uh, gender reveal here using the train on the layout. I added a little piece together and I hope you enjoy. So we're going to take a look at that and then we're going to hop into the layout update and at the end of the layout update, uh, probably throw in one clip or two clips of some trains running on the layout. I appreciate all your support. Let's get to it. Let's check out, is it gonna be a boy or is it gonna be a girl? Time will tell. Okay, it's gender reveal time and we got two trains here. We got Team Blue, Team Pink. Which one will come out of the tunnel first? Let's see. Here it is, the moment of truth. What will it be? It's a boy. Had to use 425 if it was a boy. We will be welcoming Luca Adam to our family. Coming soon. Hope you enjoyed this. Alright, as you can see in this section here, I did what I said in the last update. I started filling in with drywall mud so the track base sits well. Um, over in that corner is where there was the issue with um, the track not being on the foam enough and it was sitting a little tilted. So we had to level it out. Um, so you can see where the foam risers are at. I will be scuffing this down and smoothing that out just a little bit. It doesn't need much. It doesn't need to look pretty because it gets covered with the track. And this is going to be a tunnel back here. So this was really the main area where we needed to build up the sides and it looks as if I accomplished that. Um, we're going to set the track back in and see what it ends up looking like. Uh, here is where it transitions from the plywood over to the foam. And uh, this here looks like it might need to be built up some. So we're going to check that out when we put the track back in. Just uh, looking at it with my eyes, it looks like it's going to need a little. But the rest of it is good and that's where I went to because the track sits pretty well on this section. Um, so, but I'm mainly focusing from here up for now. Uh, but that is where we're at. So let's set this piece of track back in and see what we have. Alright, so I went ahead and snapped this section of the track back 
in the over the section I just plastered or uh, drywall mudded so I could see how the track is laying. So I went through and pushed this right here. You can see when I push down how the track raises to the left. We have to fill this area in yet a little bit. But the rest of it when it's pushed down is perfectly um, smooth to the point where the track connections are nice. You don't want to have like a dip where the tracks join together. And that is why we're going to have to fill in this section more with some more drywall mud. So that's the nice thing about the college track. I can pull it out. I'll fill that section out. And then we'll smooth this out so there's no bumps in the, the, the drywall mud. But coming up here, this has always been a problem section on the layout. As this is where it goes from the 2% grade back to the foam. And it has a really high pitch here. Especially because this piece of foam is about an eighth of an inch higher than this one for whatever reason. So I am going to shave out from back there a little bit into here so we can gradually transition the end of the slope or the grade into the flat. So that is the next step here on getting this section of track ready to be fastened down. All right, so we got rid of the teeter-totter here. I just need a little bit more drywall mud in this area right here in the front. The back is pretty good. And I think I need just a tiny bit where this, <laughs> excuse me, these two tracks join together. So that will be in the next layout update as it takes some time to put the drywall mud and build it up. Um, so that will be it on this section, but we're gonna take a look at the river section after this. Um, so next layout update, we're going to be working hopefully on getting this track completely where I want it to be um, with the grades and sitting so we can put in the um, track feeds and start wiring up this section. So let's go ahead and take a look at the river. So we're back over here at the river section. Did a little bit in here glued down the rest of the foam pieces I cut all the way around to here and what I'm going to do is while well, I'm waiting for some things to dry on the drywall mud um, I'm going to cut some plaster cloth and start laying it in here to build the base and um, once that's in I will use sculpt the mold to form the banks and form the rest of the river out and um, go from there, just little by little. I just uh, went ahead and wrapped my piers with a little plastic wrap before I do the plaster part here with the plaster cloth. Uh, that way it doesn't get plaster on it. Now, I could have did the same over here on this, but I'm not too concerned because I believe I'm going to finish how the, or change how these look, um, which won't be hard. Um, but that's another time, another video. So at the river real quick, uh, move along here. You can see I laid out all of the plaster cloth, cut it, laid it. We were probably thinking you're supposed to dip it and lay it out. Well, I remember watching a video by Minnesota E&E &E, uh, a year or two ago where he took this, laid it out, sprayed it with a spray bottle, and then smoothed it out. I'm going to use the same uh, method, a lot cleaner. And it worked well for him, so we're going to give it a shot. And uh, we'll be back once I do that. Okay, so the last time we looked at the river in this video, I had laid out the plaster cloth. I went ahead and soaked it, as I said, and smoothed it out. And once I was done with that, I mixed up some of the sculpt mold and started putting in the river edge. So we follow down through here. You can see that I've removed the, um, what was that stuff? <laughs> the plastic wrap. And it kept my piers clean. Um, I'll have to chisel out there. I'll probably use some uh, painter's um, acrylic caulking in there to level that out. Uh, finished because it'll be a little bit easier to work with around those piers because it's very tight to use the plaster. 
Um, but coming down, we got most of the river bed, um, the plaster part of it done. Got a little bit to do in there. This part here, the river is going to be deep, so I'm not going to put an edge. This is going to go right up to the bridge pier. And then when we do the pour, I'm going to leave this part. It's going to be like a pool in this spot. That way we can leave some of the water still and flat so we can get some reflection, hopefully, of the trains coming across the bridge here in that spot. But the river is going to go back and forth between white water toward looking water um, to calmer pools. Uh, like a natural river, it goes through rapids to pools to runs and uh, I want to simulate that throughout this section of river. So I'm just going to keep falling down along here and you can see the processes that I made or the progress I made in the river area. So I had run out of uh, the Woodland Scenics low temp glue here. So I still have this section to glue in place, then put the plaster cloth down and fill in the edges. So that won't be in this layout update. This is it for the river in this one. I had no plans on starting this, but it just kind of happened, which I'm glad it's moving forward. So the next steps on the river would be to put in the stones on the bottom, start painting, and then start working up the scenery a little bit along the edges. Um, but that is not a priority because that is up here where I really want to work. Um, this just was something I started while I was waiting for something up there to dry. And um, I'll just continue to peck at it. But I wanted to show the progress where it stands on the river. So that's that.